I think museums are central to memory, particularly when it comes to the understanding that the public has. What we've got to remember is that the public only remembers a short while ago and it has no, no memory of more than 60, 70 years ago. The public has to rely on somewhere else for its information. And memory only gives you so much information about why the modern world is as it is. Um, you have to you have to know about the the older stuff too. So th museums are good places to bring together the older history and the contemporary modern modern view of history, which you could describe as memory. I think museums for a long time have tried to exist as though politics don't exist and I'm afraid politics do exist and politics isn't just about politicians, politics is about rights of women, it's about the, the, the way that we live with each other, that's what politics is about, it's, it's the way that people live together and I don't understand how museums think that somehow or other they can exempt themselves from those kind of issues. So I think museums which deal with political issues such as for example the rights of women in society will be respected by and popular with the public and museums which avoid these issues will always be regarded as a bit mysterious and not for me. Museums are great places to explore issues which might, which, in which the public may have some knowledge and it may have no knowledge whatsoever. What does the public rely on for information? Newspapers, television and so on. Um, museums, I think, are a great place to explore issues which affect us all today. I think that's the key, that um, human rights is, is an issue in every nation in the world. It's not just something peculiar to Asia or to Eastern Europe or to South America or to North America. Every country in the world is involved in human rights issues. And I think that the public will always respond to museums that try their best to explore these issues. It's as simple as that. And um, most history is full of human rights abuse. That's what history is like. And you know, to understand how we have lived together, we have to have some understanding of what human rights is like and why it's different now from the way it used to be. Museums become agents of social change through the simple device of being a place that attracts the public and the public come to a visit a museum and when they leave they, they, they're different from what they were when they arrived. They may think they've learnt something, they may think they've not actually learnt very much, they may think they knew everything that they've seen, but I promise you that the impact that museums have on people or can have on people is that their lives will be changed. And I think that if they're dealing in issues to do with human rights, politics, the way that, that we live together, then this will have um, an impact on society as a whole. But you have to have museums that are full of the public, it's no point in having an empty museum, that won't have any impact on the public. It's got to be somewhere that people want to go and find things out that perhaps they didn't know before. Mm -hmm.